Hello, and welcome. I'm Zyander, and here we are once again playing modded Minecraft on the uh, pack I made. So I found this sitting on the ground next to a building. It was underneath of a baby skeleton. It's just a backpack. And this is what it contained, which is really weird to me. And if you sneak and break it, you can put it on, carry it around, sneak and then right click with an empty hand and place it back on the ground. Uh, so I made those. I also made a sterling generator from Ender.io. Not terribly efficient until you upgrade it, but uh, that is not how you spell sterling. It's actually really easy to make, which is why I made it. It takes a piston, basic gears, which is sticks and cobble, a furnace, and five stone bricks, which I actually stole from up there. Although I do have some stone now from processing through these, because I have this set to push, and then this is set to do nothing, because it's going to be pushing, or receiving, and then it's going to push into the top, into this chest. So, this was one vein of artifice sulfur, and I believe this was, like, one vein of railcraft sulfur. Although I don't remember, because I got this pretty early on. I am up to 11 diamonds. The question is, do I make a synthesizer and attempt to make up the diamond afterwards, or do I make a quarry that I can currently barely run? Also, I have I have uh, three zombie heads and two skeleton skulls. Uh, not really much there. I do have two ender pearls, which is exactly enough to make an octatic capacitor. But there is a slight problem. Oops. Octatic. I need glowstone for energetic alloy, which I also need for the uh, vibrant alloys, which also takes glowstone. And the only real way to get glowstone is phosphorus. But then I would need the deconstructor and the synthesizer to make it. So, but they're also kind of expensive-ish to power. It's a thousand RF to decompose an item, and then depending on the item, it's really expensive. So, uh, I think a diamond, actually, you know what, we can look it up. Uh, by default, Minecam goes to, requires you to make a block, which... It's a real pain to get that much. So I've disabled the block recipe because there's a slight duplication issue if you don't. Because that's 36. Well, basically, it's 4 per stack to make it, so it'd be 4 per diamond. Whereas this is only 3 per diamond and 10,000 RF. Uh, that means that effectively you could get 3 extra diamonds per block. So I made sure to disable that recipe. Uh, there is no config option to dis disable the Z-Tones uh, items, these, so unfortunately I, I'm going to test them, see how powerful I think they are, and then either keep them or delete them. And open modular turrets, uh, I'm not sure if I want to mess with this, I might actually download another mod I've used before, but I don't think I can actually use it unless I can load into a world, so it might actually be kind of useless. Uh, it's called World State Checkpoints, I think. And it basically saves... It, it's like a, a, an autosave for your world, almost. Well, an autosave or a quick save. So you can actually backtrack if something fails horribly all of a sudden. And you can also, like, pre-save and whatnot, so... Eh. Uh, so I've set this up, this is all Carpenter's Barriers, and the entirety of this on the inside is lit up. I will probably expand this in the future, especially in that direction, and probably back and probably this direction. Uh, it's probably not going to stay a rectangle, it, I'm probably going to end up like shaping it out this way so it'll like gain shape based on this biome, but this is where the town type thing that I'm going to be building and it's also going to be my primary base. The entire thing's going to be my base but it's also going to be sort of a town. Uh, 
the plan is to go for sort of a dystopian society. For In case you're unaware as to what dystopian means, uh, the literal translation is basically not good. It's a... And... Like, the idea of a dystopian society is there's always something horribly wrong with it. A commonly sort of like a tutorial... Uh, Wow, I cannot say that word right now. Tutorialist. That's not quite right, but it's there. So, this being Minecraft, it effectively will be, regardless of what I try to do. Uh, I do have some plans on how to build it, but we're not quite there yet. Uh, so, this comes down to, do I build a synthesizer and try to recover my diamond? Which is possible, it should take roughly a stack and a half to coal to do that, but it's always going to take a good bit of RF. And this is empty, because it's the only thing powering this. So, yeah. Uh, I do have a good bit of iron, though, so I can do that. Hmm. There's plenty of other ways to get carbon, but when going for a diamond, I would have to say that... Uh, coal's probably the quickest. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I've decided that I think I'm going to. I'm going to need, uh, let's see, 16 pistons. So we'll just allocate that real quick. Then we're going to need two blocks of iron. So we'll allocate that. Uh, we'll need a piece of redstone and seven iron. And then we'll need a piece of redstone and six iron and a diamond. I have actually made these machines before, if you can't tell. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, I'm going to need some cobble. Uh, that's way more than enough, because I'm only going to need 16 pistons. That's backwards. Oh, uh, hmm. Right. So I've been tearing down the village, so I actually have quite a bit of wood at least. And that will go there. Uh, all my stuff got mixed up now. It's unfortunate. Pistons. And those pistons need to go around iron blocks. So that gets us atomic manipulators. So, uh. I guess we'll start with this one. I figured I had that backwards. Yeah, because for some reason they're crafted differently. So, we have the decomposer and the synthesizer, and I have conduit. Ooh. Hmm. Uh. Hmm. I believe if I sit these on top of something, I can't open it. Hmm. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, this does not go to the outside, so we'll pry this open. Move torch. Uh, should be good enough in here still. Chicken! Move! Where did you even come from? The door is closed. Got out of there. So... That Minecraft glitch is apparently still definitely in the game. Okay, that is good. So we'll need the decomposer and the synthesizer. They do have nifty, nifty animations, but we won't really be able to see them too well. And I made a bucket, of course. Uh, I'm going to go with 16 coal. This should burn for a good while once this gets heated up. So, I need to get to the nether, and there's not really a good way to do that. Not offhand. Because getting obsidian is a bit of a pain. Uh, I, if I can craft three obsidian, I can use the alloy smelter to make dark steel, and then I can make a dark steel pick. And then the dark steel pick can mine obsidian. Uh, the question is... Okay. It's basically just a diamond pick. Actually, there might be less than a diamond pick. By default, 
It does have 50 efficiency when breaking obsidian once I get empowered on it, but I don't have any way to charge it right now anyhow. The goal is to get obsidian without spending any diamonds. Aside from what I've already spent on these two machines, but that can't be helped. So, this is going to heat up. Oops. Right. So I'm going to put that in there. Uh, crap, it's getting nighttime. We'll just take a quick look. I took out that building, that building. All that's really left is the one that my mineshaft is in, the well, which I actually considered taking the top off, and the building that that guy is in. I'm pretty sure I got rid of the rest of them. We'll just take a quick look, despite it getting dark. Uh, the farms are still around, despite the fact that I'm not really using them. Yeah, so that's all that's left is those. I'm going to have to figure out how I'm going to deal with them, but I do have access to a rolling machine right away, so I can technically use tracks for all my purposes. Uh, it's just going to be a bit of a pain. Uh, if you could go faster, please. How much power do you have? 1,560... 1920 so you can depose decompose one item now if I decompose cobble oops so these do work just like a barrel except for you have to shift in order to get a full stack now if we look at cobble in the decomposer there's a 10% chance that I'll get oxygen plus randomly out of a bunch of different materials uh, however, if I put stone through, it'll be the same, but I haven't really set this up in a good way to power that. Uh, however, if we run the sulfur through, this right here is equivalent to... Uh, by the way, when I first read these, I read it as... Its burn rate is... I, I read it backwards. It's burning at twice the normal rate. So these are only good for 150 ticks apiece. Uh, I used to thought it would double it, but I was retarded, so... Uh, but we're going to run the sulfur through here, because... I spent 3,000 RF making it, and even at this rate, I should get more than my 3,000 RF spent back. And some power is going to taper into there, but that'll be okay. Uh, the only problem now is that I don't have a good way to deal with this, so I'll do that, put this there, before it can go too far. Uh, do I still chest? Yes, I do. Can I put it here? Yes, I can. And I can open it! Very good. So I'll put that there, and I will set this guy to pull from that chest. That will keep his sulfur supplies full. So this will at least give me access to some power right now. It's going to be slow going, and the uh, hobby of steam engine outputs in segments, basically. And I'm going to put sulfur in here to fuel this, because I want to keep as much coal as possible at this point. Uh, he's not going to get quite as much, because he can't auto-pull, but... 64 sulfur in him, or 64 elemental sulfur, because there is regular sulfur, so we're going to call it elemental, will last longer in him than it will in this, by considerable margin. So, our primary sort or use for sulfur is going to be our fuel source now, so we do have that. We did not need the synthesizer to do that, however, we did need the synthesizer if we wanted to have any hope of getting anywhere in this process. Uh, this isn't quite fully outputting at its speed because it's building up its internal buffer, which will increase its speed. So, we're not quite getting its full output, but that's okay. And in order to take out from these, I have to extract from the bottom, as far as I've been able to tell. Uh, I'm assuming we've already burnt through 18, because there's no way we've only burnt through 2. Yeah. So, we got a decent influx of power now. Ideally, I'd want to get at least one capacitor in here. I'd at least want to get the, the... I can't use a basic to improve it, but... 
the next one up. But once again, I need glowstone for that. So, but what I am going to do is I'm going to take this 30 stone. Uh, lead. Crap. In order to make one piece of obsidian, I need eight magnesium. And stone is, I think, a 20% chance? 20% which magnesium is still a possible output. Although a 20% chance means that I only get out of one in five, and then there's a different chance, so it's probably something like, something stupid. Like, in order to get eight magnesium, I probably have to run like 200 stone through, so. If I get lucky, if I get really lucky, I'll get eight magnesium pretty quickly, but. I don't really have a good power supply, so this is slow going. And did you stop? Okay, good. It did stop outputting into there, so you're getting pretty much the full 40 R of a tick now. Well, nearly 40. Uh, something like that. Yeah, it's going okay. I got one magnesium so far. One. Mm. Okay, so I'm going to need a better power source. What can I do? I don't have many options on engines, because I haven't really made them much available. Uh, what about generator? There's the combustion generator, which is kind of a pain to make. There's the zombie generator, but I would need a vat to make that, which would require power, which kind of defeats the whole purpose. And then the sterling generator upgrade, and then there's, of course, of course, of course, the boiler, but you need blaze powder to get started on that. So, hmm. The thing is, at this point, I don't really want to make anything off camera, but I need magnesium to get anywhere. But in order to get magnet, yeah. Uh, this is almost full. Once this is full, that would be getting more power because I'm not synthesizing anything to drain power. Although. Uh, like, making obsidian in it takes a thousand RF. Meh. Uh, the only other thing I can really think of offhand is the block breaker from MFR. Eh, it takes gold and plastic. Although I did have a sort of world-breaking issue with that once before, so I've been trying to avoid it. Uh and I was playing with the modular turrets in creative and they're also a bit glitchy so I'm probably gonna stick away from those for the moment uh, although it did seem to let me place down the block after I updated my mine factory reloaded so maybe it is fixed maybe it's not it seemed to be more of an issue with coming back after a chunk was unloaded so I'm not really sure there. Oh! Oh, right, 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 right. Uh... Ooh. I only have three sugar cane. That's... Hmm. That's disappointing. Uh... Put it here. Oh. And conveniently here. And here. Very good. Hmm. But we still need paper for a book. We do have two leather, but you only need one leather. The complete lack of... Well, I'm slightly unprepared. That's for sure. Those will probably take a while to grow. But... Oh, we do need a compass. So I might as well make that now, although my chests are getting full. Uh, chances are, after this, I'll work on trying to move everything over there into the safe-ish place. Uh, not sure I'm going to get the villagers there, but I'll try and find a way on that. Uh, as it stands right now, I can't really afford to actually cook these, so... Really? Hmm. 
So it is getting the full power now, so it is processing these at a decent rate, but I'm going to need to get up to 24 magnesium? Yeah, 24 magnesium in order to make three obsidian. Hmm. Oops. Unless obsidian can be used... Uh, unless I'm missing something, I can actually break obsidian. I know that for the tunnel board, you need a diamond head. Uh, the quarry could get me obsidian, but I have to spend diamonds to make it, and I just kind of screwed that a slight bit. Actually, you know what? Let's take this out. We'll remove all of these. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Let's make a chest to store these in. They are not radioactive, so they will not decay. So let's just put them in here. Eh, decent combination of things. And I guess we'll break down two stacks of coal. Uh, okay, so I'll take the carbon, and I'll set this machine up. Come on. There we go. That'll make carbon nanotubes. So, I only need this four times. Yeah. Uh, it is a slight bit lossy. Uh, I didn't actually show you this. It's a 92% chance to decompose. So, meh. Uh, it's probably ended up being something in the area of 48 more than in order to make it, but we'll see. So you saw there it failed the actual test. Uh, actually, if I think about it, in a sort of logical standpoint, it would take nine more, roughly, on top of the normal, because I would have to send 96 through, and it has an 8% fail rate, so eight or nine, roughly. So I have eight in here, so I need three more stacks. Come on. Okay, there's two stacks. Ooh, two fails. We will make another diamond and then a quarry before the end of this, because that's really all we can do right now. So, it's another fail there, which is extremely disappointing, I must say. Okay, we're left with five coal out of that. Slightly disappointing, but what are you going to do? Oops. And we now have three carbon nanotubes. Let's put those... No, don't argue. Do I have to put them in the middle? Yes. And there we have a diamond. To replace the diamond that we spent. So... Uh, I guess we'll start with making the diamond pick. Okay. Quarry. Hmm. Now, I can make these from the Railcraft ones? I can. Which means that I can skip some steps and use tin in response. How many do I need? Seven. Uh, each one of these are good for four? Two. Uh, so I need to do this four times. Whoops. Okay, and that would be the same amount of iron. No. Learn to count. Okay. Half a stack of iron burning away. Uh, so two gold and two diamond, but because I'll need to make four gold, 
16? Yes. Okay. This will leave me with one extra iron gear, but... Oops. Not much I can do about that. So, on a random note, I noticed something with the uh, mine chem machines the one day that kind of disappointed me. What does that look like to you? Because it looks to me like something that should not ever be visible anywhere. I'll just let you think about that one for a second. In fact, I'm going to let you try and figure that one out on your own. Because maybe it's just me, but it definitely looks like it to me. So I've got a quarry, but I don't have any decent way to power it. I don't really have anywhere I want to put it. Because I'm not a huge fan of terrain holes. Uh, I guess I'll throw the sulfur in there and just start butchering sulfur for fuel. Oh, come on. Uh, where, oh, where would I put it? Uh, I think, ideally, I would want to probably go in here, go down, I don't know, to, let's see, it's probably going to go up about six or so, so I'll start... Oh, excuse me. We'll start probably about here. Oh, come on. Now we're going to need room for chests. Uh, probably a few rows of them. I don't... Well, I suppose not rows. Probably stack them. It'll be simpler. Uh, I'll do three sets here, and three sets here. Knock this out to make sure I can walk in and access them there. So I'm going to do a normal size quarry, which means that... Did I happen to... No. No, I didn't space it evenly, because... Well, because this is one block and everything else is two. So I'll put this here. And that will go... Fine, go there. So I'm going to need pipes and chests. Uh, chests simple, pipes... I don't have any sand. Obviously, I can make some with the sag mill, though. And I think I will, actually. Because I'm not doing too much. I've acquired some copper. I'll keep that. Uh, sag mill. Please stop outputting. And please push here. What are you grinding? What? I... I'm not entirely sure what just happened there, but I'm going to roll with it. So, I'm probably going to make... Cobblestone pipes. Or maybe gold pipes? Gold pipes will always be useful. Ah, eh, screw it, I'll make gold pipes. There. So, gold transport pipes. Uh, I'm gonna end up... Well, I'm not gonna end up with anything, because I'd have to actually go and... attach something to the quarry to power it. That's a lot of sulfur. Oh! Uh, d hmm. My biggest worry right now is that I'm not really going to be able to power it, but 
One sulfur, uh, 16 times 300, so we'll do 16 times 3, which is 48. 4,800, that's 3 coal, uh, plus I lose 1,000 RF, so 1,000 RF would be 500, well, actually be closer to 1,000 ticks worth, so it's worth... In the end, if powered by a sterling generator, each one, each piece of sulfur becomes worth approximately two and a third pieces of coal. And I think, I think I'll make another one, because they're simple. Set, that's four. I'm not really too concerned about stripping the bricks out of this, because I have plans to tear this entire village down eventually. So I'm just going to harvest what is useful to me. And we're getting a bit long, but I want to make the sterling generator real quick. I manned... Hmm. How many pipes do I have? Five? Hmm. Hmm. I'm going to make two. Whoops. That is not stone bricks. I'm going to leave the mossy stone bricks, though, because I don't care about cracked, but mossy is a bit harder to come by. Well, I'm not actually sure. Oops. Mossy stone bricks. Okay, never mind. They're not that hard to come by. Uh, what about cracked stone bricks? Oh, they're harder to come by, but meh, screw those things. So, Sterling Generator, I need... I'm going to need four of these. So, one, two, three, four. Hey! Four basic gears. Uh, two furnaces. So, I'm going to need another one of these. And I'm going to need two pistons. So, one, two, one, two. I can kind of understand why there's a piston involved and kind of not. So that is one stack of sulfur burnt through. I'm going to have to go mine more sulfur at this rate. Hmm. Okay, so I'm going to need a chest. Uh, I'll just do a single chest. And what else do I need? Oh, oh right. I need six double chests. Uh, so twelve chests. Okay. Uh, you know what? I'm probably gonna need another set of golden transport pipes. So I might as well do that now. And I'm just going to set it up really quickly. I, I'll haul the fuel over later, but I just want to get it set up so you have an idea of how I'm going to get it all. Stupid skeleton, you can't follow me down my ladder. Uh, maybe I should cut this out a little bit for make it easier for me to get into it. So I'm actually going to put them up here. So I want to make sure there's no transport pipe overlap, so we'll put that in that. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. I'll, I'll come back and fix that later. So I'll put that there. Two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one. Apparently not two. Uh, I just realized it's going to be very difficult for me to actually walk over there. I'll step on pipes. Oh, Peck's gone. So, no more digging there. I'll run this, this, this. This, this, this. This, 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 this. So, it'll connect twice on the bottom, so the bottom ones will probably fill up quicker, but it shouldn't eject until all chests are, are full. So, all i got to do now is, well, 
get a chest to replace the one that I put in the center. And then that should run this just fine. Albeit with a crappy efficiency on my fuel. But I can live with that. Oh, oh leave me alone. Go away, skeleton. Ow. Oh god, there's two of them now. Okay. So. I will get the quarry going, and it may or may not be done. Probably not, because I won't be putting much power into it. By the time I meet with you guys next, and also we should be moved over into the safe, quote-unquote, area. So I'm going to call that good for now, and I will see you guys next time. Have a good day.